Hey everyone, it's Joey Vasquez here with a coloring style tutorial. Um, for me, coloring um, in comic books and such is is really important, and also it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. So I encourage you guys, even if you're pencilers or inkers or whatever, try dabbling in coloring because it's a it's a lot of fun. All right. So right here, I did a set of heads. Or, um, I just did one head and then I'm gonna color it in uh, some different styles um, I'm gonna kind of go through the I'll go through like cell shaded and then what is kind of referred to a cut style as well as more of a painted style and uh, we'll just kind of move through and, and do some do some different stuff um, you, for this, I I don't know how much I'm gonna really elaborate on, uh, on Photoshop and whatnot, because it is good if you if you have learned the program beforehand. Uh, I'll I'll give you guys some tips and such. If you are if you have not used Photoshop, it is a layering system, or you can color in layers, or you can color in the channels right here. But it's it's best if you um if you learn how to work the program, uh, just mess around with it. Uh, right here I got my group of layers, so each of those are the line layers right there, and then uh, this group's the rendering layers, and then I have all my flats all separate. And uh, I tend to kind of work in a lot of layers, but I don't care, it's, uh, it's whatever gets the job done. So let's see, we'll, uh, we'll grab some color here, and we'll start uh, jumping in. Let's see, so right here I'm gonna go grab my uh, kind of feathering brush right here and then for for doing cut style guys um, you're gonna to want to use the lasso tool because that's what I use to do uh, the cut style and then let's see let's move up and uh, pick a bit of a better color here alright we're gonna jump right in here and start doing some coloring and it's also good to know your light source. So the light source is going to kind of be, you know, deselect it. The light source is going to kind of be from like up around here, like straight in front of them. All right. And again, this is kind of for more advanced people who know how to use Photoshop. I do recommend learning the program. There's tons of tutorials online to learn how to work the program. Um, and also uh, observation from other colorists. That's a lot how I learned. I don't like to be called a colorist because I don't want I don't want to be get pigeonholed into um, being labeled as a colorist. I'd more refer to myself as a full artist, so because I can do uh, I can do penciling, inking, and coloring, and I've been trying to get into writing more. So I'm gonna try and write some stories. All right, we're just selecting in where we want. Uh, right here, what I'm doing, I'm just selecting the areas that I want to render. So we'll go through. He's kind of got a shadow under his nose. Um, let's look here. And uh, give kind of. And this is just kind of to show you guys uh, how I go about doing my colors because I tend to color in this style a lot more than I do uh, any other style. So now we're going to turn on the brush and uh, make the brush bigger. And then we're just going to actually, whoops, I meant to select this area. And uh, then we're just going to come down here with the brush, brush over his face, and then deselect. And then uh, let's see, I'm going to switch my brush or my eraser brush to uh, to a hard brush so that way if I have any little mistakes like this one right here 
and the rendering is getting a little too much over here. And then we'll just continue rendering right here. And the rendering is going to kind of, in some sense, for the lighting, um, it's going to look the same on a lot of them, but it will be in different styles. So just keep that in mind for this. And sorry if I go kind of silent for a little bit because um, I'm just concentrating. Then I'll come over here and I'll we'll select this little bit over here. And then uh, do some brushing over that. And we'll select this again real quick just to kind of lighten that area under the chin. And there's the first layer. Now I, I tend to do um, a lot of multiple layers uh, for this. So, but because I've, I've discovered kind of turning the second layer. So here's what I'm going to show you guys. And this was a technique showed to me a long time ago when I was starting out coloring is you're going to turn this layer to color dodge and then you're going to uh, double click on the layer and then uh, turn off the transparency uh, shapes layer and then uh, you're going to switch I'm going to turn my brush to kind of a, a yellowy-ish kind of yellow and then what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to reselect where I rendered and then I'm going to come in here and kind of lighten it up a little bit. It kind of makes the skin oh, too much. We don't want to lighten it up so much so we don't get to put in that highlight. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the kind of highlights. And I kind of add them in uh, the areas where I feel like that shine would um, where the light would collect the most and shine. And uh, sometimes your coloring doesn't always have to be practical. It can be whatever looks cool. Um, so it doesn't always have to be practical. And uh, it's just a, a lot of it is just about having fun with it, guys. So and then we're going to kind of come over here. Now we got those areas highlighted. We might get rid of the one selection on his chin. I don't know if I like that. And then we're going to come in here, select within his eye, and use the color dodge in this area of selection. And we'll come in and color his teeth. So he has some nice pearly whites. Uh, we want to just color all his teeth. All right, so that's that rendered. Um, I'll actually, I actually did. Um, some colors on these faces uh, prior to this, so I'm going to turn this off. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys the difference in the results. So here's the cut style that I did beforehand. And then this is a more brushy style. Now I used the same type of layers. And here I'll show you guys what I did. And, and I'll turn this off. Uh, Let's see. Oh gosh, where'd that group go? Well, the group that's turned off. Um, what I did was I used um, this brush right here. This is one of my brushes. And uh, I guess we'll turn this layer back on for the sake of showing this. Um, what I did was I turned this brush on, or put this brush on. Then I clicked uh, the pressure um, sensor thing up here. I don't remember what it's called. And then I turned the opacity down to like at least 75 or 77 percent. 
it doesn't have to be exactly that. And then I just kind of start brushing over it and uh, start building on top of that. And this is the more uh, painted method. And I like doing this uh, occasionally. It depends on what, what piece I'm doing. But this is all about showing you guys kind of the different styles you can do. And I definitely think we need a lot more um, really good colorists out there. Because there's, there's some great guys, but I, I really wish there was even more. I wish there was more colorists. And that's kind of why I'm doing this, because I want to encourage some of you guys, if you want to get into comic books and you like coloring, um, uh, you guys should definitely try this out. All right, and then we'll just kind of come in, and the same the same lighting areas. And this is just kind of more of a painted style, just brushy. And a lot of it relies on your pressure. Uh, how you handle the pressure of the pen. Do, do, do. We're just going to keep rendering here until I feel kind of more satisfied and then uh, we'll jump into it and it's just kind of going through and and you don't always have to add even more highlights um, but I, I like to add the initial highlight and you, and sometimes when you're coloring like this it's that final highlight that really makes the piece uh, sing like the colors could look like crap for a little bit and then as soon as you add that highlight in you're just like oh now it just it just sings mm. And that's what I find is a lot of fun. Do, do, do. That is my dog barking in the background. So yeah. And this isn't like... I wouldn't say it's like to really show as much about lighting and whatnot. I know that is super important as well when it comes to coloring. But it's more to show you guys different techniques and stuff to try out when you're uh, when you're coloring. So yeah, it's kind of fun to add these uh, textury effects when you're doing when you're using your brush. Oh my goodness! Quiet, Ruby. I have two dogs, and they can be annoying sometimes. Alrighty, anyways, you guys kind of get the idea for how to do the brushy effect. I'm just going to kind of wrap this coloring up right here and we will move on to or, and then I'll show you guys what I did afterwards um, let's see did I turn on that? Yes. okay so now I did the same thing right here I have the dodge layer I have the same color um, palette now what I did was I kind of lightly went over because when you when you do dodge color dodge um, it's gonna lighten up everything pretty pretty well and I and I really like that effect that uh, color dodge has but you got to be careful where it layers um, because for color dodge as soon as you hit that other layer it's gonna be like really bright but yeah color dodge is a lot of fun to use especially when it comes to doing the highlight stuff So yeah, just getting, um, just adding those brushy looks in there and, and getting those fun little techniques in there. 
I sometimes like to, or uh, who's the one colors? Oh yeah, Dean White, and uh, there's a few other colors that do it, but sometimes do this, kind of add some textury cross hatching within the colors, and I think that's really cool when people do that. So experiment, guys. There's like so many different ways to color, and uh, and just try new stuff. Try try to. Even the stuff I'm showing you, I'm sure there's like a ton of different other techniques out there as well that have that nobody's really seen. So, uh, so yeah, definitely try new things and uh, and try and find a coloring style that you really like and that suits your uh, your drawing style or whatever. So yeah, that's that's how I did. Uh, this rendering right here. Let's see. We'll turn off this. That's how I did this rendering right here. This one's obviously more clean, uh, nicer looking, but you you get the idea. Um, over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the flats, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys. There we go. Found flats, and uh, I'm gonna lighten this skin tone up. And I'm going to show you guys another technique to coloring. Oh, he doesn't. He looks sunburnt. Oh boy. Um, all right. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to color. Oh, we got to lighten it up a little more. I'm going to color um, differently because usually this one's dark to light. So I'm going to do this one light to dark, because you can do that. All right, we got to just brighten the skin up a little. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a layer, or I'm going to take a layer, and uh, for the undertone, and this is kind of how I use markers as well, I'm going to grab a, a purple, or you can use whatever kind of tone. But, uh, and then I'm going to set it to, let's see, a very low percentage. And then uh, I'm going to turn this back to a hard brush. And let's see. Mm, that's okay. I think it needs to be set to overlay, though. Yep, overlay. You turn it to overlay, and you want to put it to around... I want to say you kind of want it to be um, per okay dark. Let's see how's this. Yeah, that's much better. Um, but yeah, this one's coloring um, from light to dark. And so what I'll do is uh, I am now I have I have this layer set to overlay, and. Uh, and I'm just gonna color over the light areas. And because it's set to overlay, you can do any of the colors over. You can color over any of the flatted layers. And uh, it'll kind of cast that shadow in that same way. And then I'll show you guys the different effect because uh, on my Terra piece, or how I'm planning on coloring my, my uh, create your own project. Terra is in this style, and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Yeah, if I stop talking for any period of time, I'm just concentrating and just rendering this out for you guys. Oh my goodness, my dog is being annoying. Shut up! All 
All right, and then what I'm going to do here as well, or I'm going to drag that layer under there so I can use the color dodge tool still, um, because I'm going to show you guys how I do this. That's the whole point of this tutorial, to share some knowledge about coloring. Um, and I definitely feel like there's a lot of people who maybe want to color, but just don't know how. And I don't feel there's enough good coloring style um, tutorials out there where people kind of really divulge in their, in their coloring style. And uh, I, I, I guess I understand it's probably because they don't want any other competition for, for colors, but you know, it'd be cool to have some people teach you how to color. So that's what I'm here doing now, and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this and hopefully learn something and maybe go out and try coloring stuff. All right. And what I might do, guys, is I might partly color some of these and then I might finish them later. Um, but to give you guys the general gist of how I color. That's mainly what these are for. Because I can color in a number of different styles. Let's see. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to erase what I did on here and just turn the other layer back on. So that way it looks pretty and you don't have to look at the sketchy version. Alright, now what I am going to do is I'm going to turn the skin layer right here up and then I'm going to select the flatted area. So let's see, let's find those flats. Oh yeah, see this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like I gray toned it and then I have the flats over it. So we're going to select the skin tone and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back on my feathering brush, feathery brush, and uh, I'm going to lightly go over this, oh whoops, I don't want it to be a purple notch. Uh, I'm going to lightly go over this, very, trying not to do it too much, so I'm going to probably have to grab kind of a yellowish, orangish color. So that way I can do this without it going super bright. But I kind of just touch the brush to this. And then occasionally I'll kind of go back and maybe turn up the uh, opacity on, on this. Let me erase this right here. Oops. Yeah, that shading right there. I actually don't like how I rendered that. I gotta turn it back to white so that way it can look nicer. And in some areas, I'll make it a little brighter. And it's not always what's practical. Again, it's 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 what'll look cool. So I just keep that in mind. Here, I'll select within the eyes again, and. Uh, have it look nicer. Actually, here what we're going to do is going to select and delete that dodge that got into the eye that I did not mean to get in the eye. Mom just sent me a text. Hi, Mom. Uh. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to lighten it up that much. I meant to grab that yellow that I grabbed before and, uh, and lighten this up. And then now, here's another part that I'm going to show you guys. Well, after I, uh, after I kind of render the hair, because I, I know some of you guys wanted to know how I render hair. So I'll do this lightly over it with the dodge tool. And then what I'm going to do is grab white again because white makes the dodge even brighter. 
you can use color dodge with a variety of different colors and it helps just to play around with that so keep that in mind and uh, yeah just just play around with it and uh, have fun have fun coloring alright now we're gonna go over this and lighten it up a bit gives it that really cool shine and then what we'll do is we're going to do one more shine in there in in certain areas just another highlight so you guys can kind of add as many highlights as you want it's just uh, about knowing where your lighting is if that highlight is there so There are a lot of times where, yes, you do want to be practical about your coloring, um, but also just have fun with it. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, my halftone brush, and you guys can... Another thing about coloring is finding some great brushes to work with. Find some awesome brushes to work with, and what we're going to do, we're going to switch to a black, and then we're going to set it to way down, way down low. And we're going to come over it and this is just to add that final little texture to it you might even tone it down just a little more and just so it's kind of like it's visible but barely but enough so it gives the piece some texture and now that's how that coloring style is done oh yeah I was also gonna add a little highlight and the nose because that's usually what I like to do. That's what I like. A little highlight on the nose, maybe a little on the lip. Just in little places where a highlight may be needed. Maybe over here on the on his neck and and uh, other muscles, traps, and uh, and that's how you do that coloring style. Let's see. And now there's another coloring style that is a little similar. And uh, let's see. Now you can also color with uh, with textures as well, um, but and you don't even really have to render it as much. So let's see. We're gonna grab some tech a texture and we're gonna throw it over them. And this is what uh, one of the colorists uh, I think it's uh, this is what several colorists I know do. They just throw like a texture over his face. Oh gosh, there we go. And uh, we'll pull that above the rendering. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to select where, and this is how you guys place a texture if you guys don't know how, um, and and so you don't have to like go around erasing it all or whatever, and this is how you would do it. Is uh, you're going to select the flats. So what you do is you're going to come over to the flats layer that that has the um, has those colors on it, and you're going to click. Uh, on command or on uh, iMac, it's command, and I think it's control on a on um, on Windows. And then you're going to select it, and then what you're going to do is click Shift Command I, which activates Select Inverse, or you can just go up here, click Select Inverse, and uh, then you're going to click Delete, and it deletes that away. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this to Overlay. And now we have kind of cool texture on him. Now we can keep it that tone, but also we can try and go back to the skin tone we originally had uh, by de uh, turning on the hue saturation and uh, desaturating it, uh, desaturating the texture so that way it fits the color scheme. But since uh, it kind of renders it out, I'm going to saturate it a little, leave it a little more saturated. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and select that, select that same um, piece. And then uh, we can grab 
that same highlighted brush and uh, same color dodge and kind of just go over it a little. Not a lot. You don't need to do it a lot. But this is just uh, for rendering it out a little more. Rendering it with the highlighter. Oh my goodness, here on, I gotta go back because I rendered it too much. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to delete that away, and we're going to make a layer that's just overlay. And this also is really fun because you can just like set the layer to overlay and uh, have white be on. And then you can just start uh, start rendering it after setting, setting, setting it, setting it to overlay. So yeah, forgive me for the mistakes I end up making, guys. I am not perfect. And this is just to kind of show you guys how to do different techniques. Oh, and another thing I, I thought I'd show you guys, and this is something that really will help uh, coloring um, your characters if, if you're doing... Um, Caucasian characters, or white, um, you're going to want to color the lines where their skin are. And I'm going to show you guys um, how to kind of do that after I finish um, after I finish this up. All right, and then we're just switching the color to a, to a white highlight, so now we can do those little highlights. Oh my goodness, my dog is being annoying. There is somebody outside my house, I think. And we're just using the the airbrush tool here. And and a lot of um, a lot of coloring when it comes to doing brushy stuff is um, making the uh, adjusting the size of the brush along the way. Hang on. Anyways, moving right along. Um, but instead of doing uh, that brush, I think um, I'll grab a textured brush so that way I can kind of show you guys um, some different techniques. I've downloaded a ton of different brushes, so this is just to kind of show you guys um, how to do certain dealios. And uh, yeah, it's really helpful to learning how to use different brushes. Yeah, look for brushes online, guys, because there's a ton of them. And and the majority of them that I've found are free to download. There's a ton on DeviantArt. Um, look for them uh, uh, on there. Um, I have, if you look through my favorites, um, uh, go to joeyvasquez.deviantart.com and go to my favorites, and then in there should be a folder that has coloring tutorials, or, or it's labeled tutorials. And you guys can look that up. And uh, there's a bunch of different, um, oh gosh, there's a bunch of different uh, fun tutorials to, to look at and, and check out. So yeah, definitely do that. All right, moving right along here. We're going to kind of blush his cheeks a little. So again, guys, this is just different styles, different things that you can do. Um, you don't have to necessarily do this style over here or this style up here. And I'm going to show you guys, okay, I was going to show you guys how to do the, the lines, the coloring of the lines. All right, so what you're going to do 
is um, what I do, since these lines are all on a separate layer, uh, I click the locking, I lock them, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of go to uh, an orangish red and I'll bring it down fairly dark. And uh, then what I'll do is I color, I'll grab a, more of a hard brush so I can do this easier. And uh, I'll color the lines. Oh, whoops, you don't want to color his eyebrow. Um, I'll color it where it needs to be, like on the skin areas. So don't color like in the eye, um, the skin color. Um, this is just where you want to color the skin. Um, and it really helps uh, give it a more organic feel when, uh, and for the look of the skin. And it just, it just makes the piece look better, in my opinion. When uh, when people color the lines like this, so that way they're not always just black. So yeah, I feel that helps the piece along, and the same can be done uh, for the hair. So oops. the same can be done for the hair. We'll finish coloring this up. And so I'll kind of go to more of a yellowish orange and drag that down a little further. And then I'll color the lines on the hair. And like, especially for blonde hair, that, like, I mainly do this only on blonde hair. Sometimes for brown hair, um, but, and then sometimes for black hair, depending if I just drew the lines and then colored it black. I can show you guys that um, in a drawing video or something later. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like this helps make the piece look better when it comes to coloring, is doing the color holds or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I just call it coloring the lines. Um, yeah, I'm not as big a fan of this one over here. I guess uh, what I'll do is I'll desaturate that and make it look better. Grab that selection. And uh, and this is what I tend to do when I'm coloring, guys. I like if I don't like what I did, I'll go back and uh, and try and fix things. Oh my gosh! Why do I always forget? My dog is being super annoying right now. I apologize if you're having to hear her bark. the whole time while I'm trying to go and teach you guys. Good lord. Shut up, Ruby. And then sometimes what I like to do as well, guys, or why did I just select that? Uh, I like to do a rim light around, uh, around the character. And I think that this really helps um, make the um, piece pop. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys can be laughing about this. All right, and I definitely feel like that made it look better. So yeah, adding rim light, doing these different lighting techniques, um, that's what's really going to help you guys um, going through and doing different coloring styles. And there's even there's so many more out there that you can do, and and uh, more that I don't even know about. Um, let's see, I'll try to do maybe one more of these here and uh, and then we'll end the video there let's see what other coloring styles do we want to try and attempt um, yeah there's a lot of different brush techniques and and different methods of how to color 
Like you can take you can take this uh, the cut style technique and apply it and and render it in different ways. Like you could um, you could render even more. You can go back to the color I had and and render it up even more. Let's see, do I have the yeah? So I could go back in and add even more highlights. Oops. And just try and, I guess, embellish it a little more to make it pop. And, uh, but sometimes it depends on your style when it comes to coloring, but sometimes less is more. And then sometimes if you're able to pull it off, um, more of a painted, real, uh, grungy and, and uh, I guess I would say rough style may be called for. It's all, it all depends on the kind of artist you're coloring over, I would say. So see, adding that an, an, another highlight can um, really make a difference. So we'll go kind of more over this one more time, over this stuff that I'm doing now. And there, it's even that much more rendered and it, you get a little more out of it sometimes. And knowing the right colors to use is, is really helpful, just trying new things and trying to um, uh, observation is a, is a big thing guys so look at books that have really great colorists and uh, and learn from and learn from them let's see we'll do more of a a brushy style I guess on this uh, on this last one with more of a textured brush and what we're gonna do is probably go to the layer that is on the highlight layer Overlay. Oops, that is too much overlay. And we'll do kind of a more brushy style on here. And then uh, I guess the cell shading style would be like cut style here, but more with just one tone. Kind of like this, but without the um, the dodge on it at all. So this right here really adds some texture. Give me a moment, guys. I will be right back. I have to go punish my dog. I'm just kidding. Well, maybe I'm not. Pay no attention to the sounds in the background. dog is being extremely annoying. Guys, find some brushes online that you may like to work with that can really complement um, people's art. Find art that you feel um, you'd like to color and practice on, and be sure to give the artists credit for their work and uh, and show it off. Show off your coloring. Talk to other colorists. There's plenty of good colorists to 
talk to you on DeviantArt and uh, on Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. And ask questions. And learn. It's always fun learning new things. Yeah, you know you're in trouble, Ruby. Being loud and annoying, trying to make a video. So yeah, this is just another one of the many coloring styles I may or may not use. It depends on what the piece calls for again. So let's see. Oh, why did I switch it to that? You shut your trap. And uh, we can kind of, we can probably turn this to white. To start. Oh. Like that. Turn it more of a yellowish. We'll go back over to the color dodge. And this is what I like to use, guys, because uh, it kind of adds a really cool effect. Especially, like, so make sure you're controlling that pressure on your brush. And, uh, understanding how it works. know how much I like that now. Probably erase a little bit uh, over the areas I feel I did too much. Sometimes the eraser can be a good tool as well guys. The eraser is your friend on on Photoshop especially when it comes to like erasing certain areas that maybe you want to kind of make fade. So yeah use the eraser So like I could go like this and make it really bright and then say, oh, I think that's too bright. Well, maybe I want to make it fade a little and I'll build back on top of that a little more. So yeah, if you guys notice you and or hear my keyboard at all, it's because I'm um, changing the brush size a lot. See, I embellished that a little too much, so I'll bring it down. And yeah, and you guys don't have to use color do color dodge. I've just been using it recently, and that's just how I've kind of done my setup, and uh, how I've just kind of started, or how I've colored for a while, and done it that way. Oops, that is too zoomed in. Sometimes Photoshop likes to do that to me. So. And it gets annoying. Kind of go over this, and give it one more good go. We might add a highlight layer. So yeah, one thick highlight layer can really um can really make a piece pop, but it's all about also knowing where that highlight layer is coming from. So make sure you're uh, understanding where you're doing your highlights. And there's a lot of times where you can even color over the lines. Say I wanted to color over these lines, make another color dodge layer, and color over the lines. I don't think it's going to do it because it's set to color dodge, but and adding like little effects and such in the background. 
But yeah, what I do whenever I'm coloring stuff is I tend to uh, um, I tend to color my backgrounds first so I understand the lighting. Alrighty, I guess that kind of does it for this coloring tutorial. Um, I might do another one sometime soon, guys. I do thank you so much for um, uh, watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it um, helpful. If you guys have any more questions you'd like me to answer in future videos, please post in the comment section below. And uh, you can find links to all my social media sites uh, in, the, um, in the description below as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, catch more of my videos coming soon to my YouTube channel. Also, find me on Periscope. I do uh, live, cha uh, live chats with uh, while I'm drawing, and, uh, and you guys can come check that out. And my username on that is, is just Joey Vasquez. All right, thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you next time on The Art of Joey Vasquez.